Hi, I'm Dr. Ted, and this is Fracture Friday. Now before we begin with this case, I want to let you know that there's a graphic image involved in this case, um, and you are, may not want to watch this if you're sensitive to that kind of thing. If you like that kind of stuff, and you want to see what somebody's pretty much messed up foot looks like, then continue watching, because you're going to get an image of what we see in the ER sometimes. So this to continue with this Fracture Friday is an open subtalar dislocation. It's actually a fracture dislocation, but okay. So basically that requires a little bit of anatomy kind of lesson. You have your ankle joint, which is basically your tibia or your shin bone, the fibula, the bone on the outside of your ankle, and the talus, which makes up the ankle joint. Below that is the calcaneus. So between the talus and the calcaneus is what's called the subtalar joint. So that joint can get dislocated. It's usually a twisting injury. It's sometimes when the foot gets caught in something and the person falls down, it's you're up relatively traumatic. Um, and in this case, it's actually open. So this first very graphic, again, I'll tell you image that we have here is the open part of the subtalar dislocation. The subtalar joint is dislocated and the, the skin is split like you see here. Okay, so we have x-rays of this. So this AP of the, I'm sorry, this lateral here of this um, subtalar dislocation shows that the calcaneus is no longer in alignment with the talus. Okay, so what do we do with this? Interestingly enough, for as interestingly enough, as this traumatic as this injury is, what we do is reduce the fracture and the dislocation and basically get some post-operative x-rays. Um, to see what the alignment is and then check for the stability of the joint. Now typically the joint's very stable. Typically the ligaments heal up without any kind of surgical reattachment. So we don't really have to do anything other than to address the soft tissue injury, which is to repair the subcutaneous tissues in the skin and place the, place the patient into a cast and ultimately a cast boot or a walking cast. So these post-operative x-rays we have here is an AP of the reduced subtalar joint and a lateral of the reduced subtalar joint. His uh, fracture was relatively small and required no real involvement with regards to repair. And when you have open joints like this, to put hardware in there just, just can just add problems if we end up with any kind of post-operative or post-injury sort of infection. The hardware can get infected and make it more difficult. So here it was chosen not to put any hardware in because it's not a substantial part of the joint that was fractured. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Hi, Dr. Ted. Thanks for sticking around after the video. If you'd like to see some more content from us, please subscribe to the channel and like this video.